Good morning, my valuable viewers. Welcome and thank you so much for always considering tuning into your most favorite online TV channel. My name is Julius and this is Public Desire Media TV. I always take the first opportunity to welcome and appreciate all of you, my valuable viewers, who have already subscribed to my channel, Public Desire Media TV. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I salute all of you for the support you have given me so far. I really appreciate the love and support you have shown me. And for the rest of you, who are yet to subscribe to my channel, please take this opportunity to watch this particular channel for only one single reason. This is the only channel that gives you the opportunity to watch and enjoy exact, accurate, specific, and relevant content that is geared towards making you a better person in whatever you do. I know it has been a while since I uploaded a video. Uh, it has been a while, around two weeks, because I've been experiencing some challenges which I'm yet to do another video. I've been having some health problems and also some challenges which I'm not going to disclose in today's video because today I'm ready to give you what you truly deserve which is nothing but great, great, great content. Remember, when I was starting this particular channel, I promised you, my valuable viewers, that I'll not be giving you something which is not great because you're my great, great, great people. Today, I'm going to showcase what my video, what my, sorry, what my, my village is ready to offer one of you subscribers one of you my valuable viewers challenge me that yes i've seen majority of your village videos i've seen you walking in the river stream i've seen some of the best places that you have showcased about your village but is it possible for somebody to own a piece of land now today's i'm going today's video is going to re reply and respond to what my valuable viewer had asked me in my channel so i'm going to take you in some of the pieces of land which the owners have told me that if I get a buyer, I'm going to let that particular buyer meet the seller. It is going to be a buyer-seller agreement. I'm not involved in anything. I'm not doing that business. I'm not in the business of buying and selling land. And if you are willing to give me something in appreciation, why not? I'll appreciate the token that you have really given me because at the end of the day, everybody is going to struggle to put food on the table and also have money in his or her pocket. Now, today's video is about the pieces of land that are available in my village for sale. So I want you to enjoy this particular video right from the beginning until the tail end so that you can enjoy what we call great, great content. So stay tuned as we enjoy this particular video.
This is the second piece of land. It is coming from the far end where you are seeing somebody has done uh, cassava crop rotation or production. Right from the top where you are seeing there, it is coming down. Let me take you down here. This is Kels. And remember I told you before that Kels do so well here in my village. Kel is a type of vegetable which is being used and consumed in large quantities in my area. So right from the top there, we have shown you, right from the top here, the piece of land comes down here. Let me talk, walk with you as we talk. So it comes up to the far end, the lower region there. Goes. And uh, this is the end of the second piece of land, which the owner has also told me that if he gets a good buyer, he is ready for negotiations. So, so this is where it ends. Let me stand here, you can see properly. Right from the top there, from the top coming down up to here where the vegetables here so this is the end very very fertile piece of land if you are a farmer you are good in uh, farming you can also get yourself this piece of land and also if you want to settle here you can come and settle here if you like peace and a place where there's no noise this is the deal place where you can settle. Remember, my area is very rich with water. This water has been flowing this way for the rest of the time I've known it. It has not stopped. So there's free water here. Yeah, there's free water. You can make good use of that water instead of going into waste the way it does here now. And it has been flowing that way since time immemorial. So, if we get more rainfall, the level of water which flows here is very, very high. So, I've told you, if you want a nice place where you can come and relax away from the noise, away from the town life, you can have a nice building here, surrounded by huge eucalyptus trees here. You can have a nice home for your family and even for yourself. Kenyans and even other members of our community. If you want to have an uh, agroforestry business, then this is the place you can do this kind of business. People are doing agroforestry. You can see for yourself. Uh, like this one is ready for, for, buy, for a nice buyer. If you can get a nice buyer for this kind of eucalyptus tree, you can fetch a good amount of money. Very huge trees here. They do so well. Look at this. Wow. This one, this one, this one I'm pointing, and this other one. So people have come here, they are doing eucalyptus tree, uh, agroforestry, and they are getting good money. So if you are not willing to settle here, you can come and do agroforestry. At the end of the day, you will get money in your pocket and food on your table. I keep on insisting, and, and I will never get tired to insist that we are all rushing against one thing, how to get money in our pocket and put food on our tables. So this particular person, after doing his proper survey, he found it appropriate to do agroforestry instead of settling here. So if you're not willing to settle here, you can come, buy a piece of land, do this kind of business. Then after 10 to 15 years, you'll have your money. You need not to be in a hurry. That is an investing, investment. So. Let me take you to the piece, another piece of land, the third one, so you can have a variety. I can take you the four pieces of land which the owners have told me that they are up for sale. But this one is not up for sale. The one you are seeing here with the eucalyptus trees, this is not for sale. This is somebody's uh, business. So, my viewers, my valuable viewers, my subscribers, this is the third piece of land. It starts from here. Let me show you where it starts. 
this is where the piece of land starts right from here and it goes right up to that far end you are seeing so let me walk with you so that you can have a view of how large or how wide this piece of land is so let me walk with you and enjoy the view this i think in my own opinion this piece of land is not for settlement but if you want to settle here you can come and do so but in my own opinion i think you can do what you call uh, agroforestry here because as you can see from the far end here from the background uh these trees do so well under this kind of conditions this kind of landscape it also helps in uh, prevention of soil erosion so if you can come here do agroforestry then at least you can earn a living out of that if you are not in a hurry maybe you're out of the country you can come here plant as many eucalyptus trees as many as you can so that after around 10 to 15 years you come here and harvest so you're still working on that piece of land so it ends over here right here yes this is the end this is the end of that piece of land so it starts from here up to far end that is the length and uh, it ends over here if you are willing to do something like uh, cassava crop production then this kind of soil soil sorry can support that kind of activity so this is the third piece of land remember it's a willing buyer a willing seller the proper identification of the landowner will be done all the due diligence will be followed will be introduced to the real owner of the land will go to the land offices and thereafter you can agree with the, the seller how much that particular person wants i keep on reminding you i'm not in that business i'm just assisting you my valuable viewers some of you who saw some of the videos i did concerning my village and they really like the place you can see the landscape from far end let me zoom for you those hills that is aldai division we are neighboring nandi district nandi county yeah nandi county we no longer have districts nowadays in kenya so that is the 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 nandi escarpment the nandi escarpment as you can see so whenever they receive rainfall we also get the same same kind of weather conditions right now it is like now it is almost 10 p.m 10 a.m sorry 10 a.m but you can see it is cloudy it's very very cold very very cold now it is 10 a.m so this is the boundary of this piece of land i'm showing you it starts from here it goes right up to that far end so this is the third one if you're interested let us have a candid talk in the comment section leave your email address i'm going also to, ta to, to tag my my instagram so that we have a discussion and if you are ready i'll tell you where you can get me come and do the viewing and the rest will follow so my valuable viewers this is the fourth and the final piece of land which i'm showing you it is very very lucrative it's just adjacent to the roadside here let me show you this is the road that links this particular place with the other parts of the village so it is very very lucrative lucrative it starts from here let me walk with you up to the far end so that you can see how how wide how how long in terms of length you can see for yourself So when you come here, uh, you can have an opportunity to watch the four pieces of land so that you can make a, an informed decision which one suits your requirements best. 
In my own opinion, this piece of land is ideal for settlement because it is just adjusted to the road. Yeah. So let me walk here. You just see how wide it is. So this is uh, the boundary showing how wide it is. This is the boundary. And uh, because this area is swampy, I may not be able to, to walk on this. This is swamp. There is uh, water underneath. So it starts from here where you can see the maize plantation up to this maize is still in the same piece of land up to the far end where I had started walking. So, so this is the fourth one and the final one which the owner had contacted me if I can get somebody they can have a candid discussion and come to an agreement. All things happen on a willing buyer, willing seller basis. I'm not interested in anything here. There's no commission you have to pay me. But at least if you find that I've done something, yeah, the services are free. But you can appreciate my services by giving me something. <laughs> Remember at the end of the day, it's just a struggle against poverty. So this is the final one. It is good for farming activities. Okay, you come here, you do your maize plantation farming or cassava or arrow roots or even yams. Yeah, so this is the boundary. This other end is for belongs to somebody else, and that person is not selling. So, this is the boundary. As you can see, this particular uh, imaginary boundary is here. This is my pet. My pet decided to come with me to accompany me for this particular noble cause. Yes. Now, so my valuable viewers, you can, you have a wide range of choices to make from. And I know, not today, not tomorrow, but in the near future, you'll like to visit this particular place. So that's it. So my valuable viewers, you have seen for yourself. You have seen the, the environment here. Today is very cold, as you can see from my background. And I've told you, it's around 10 a.m. and I'm in my heaviest cloth here because the weather very very cold. So if you're interested in any of these uh, any of these four pieces of pieces of land which I've just showcased here, you can contact me in my email address. I can show you where you can get me. We can arrange how we can meet so that you can meet the real real owners of this piece of land. So that when you do your due diligence the search, all those kind of things which are related to land sale, you can actually get to know that you are buying an ideal property from the right person. So thank you so much for watching this particular video right from the beginning until the tail end. You have come to the ultimate end of this particular video. It cannot get better than this. This is what I prepared for you. I wanted to show you the best that my village can offer. Thank you so much for being part and parcel of the Public Desire family. For those of you who haven't subscribed to the channel, please, 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 I repeat, this is the only channel that you need to subscribe to when you want to watch and enjoy exact, accurate, specific, and relevant content that is geared towards making you a better person in whatever you do. Remember, when I was starting this particular channel, I had promised you, my valuable viewers, that I'll be giving you stories behind the stories, Training stories regarding human concern, that is education, health, food security, and even food, uh, the security, sorry. Now, if you are not a member of Public Desire Family, I'm giving you opportunity, press that subscription button. Remember, it's still road to 1,000 subscribers. I'm yet to reach there. Please help me to reach the, the 1K subscribers bench, benchmark so that we can be together as one family. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Let us meet in the next video. Bye.